Hi guys, this is Tina. Welcome back to my channel. So for a bit more fun, I'm still trying to clear that shelf, obviously. So I thought we could just make another um, canvas to do um, some of the clearing because I had lots of old um, canvases sat there. So again, I've bought along a few things. So now this canvas here, again, is a similar size to the other one. Um, I need to actually look and see. I think it's 12 by 12. So, you know, it's, it's quite a big canvas. Well, quite big, you know, in terms of working on it here on the screen. Um, I have got this gorgeous book image that I thought would be really fun to use with it. Um, so what I'm going to do is obviously tear around it. I don't want those words Easter. And obviously it is quite, you know, quite big as it is. So I'm just going to tear around here. Like that. Oops. Not that easy to tear now because now I'm now I'm too far in to be able to grab, get a hold of it. Right, there we go. And then just tear it down here. So this is a vintage image from just a vintage children's book. And obviously all of the, you know, the methods that we're using here, they could all be used in your journals. I mean, it's just, you know, it's just that I'm working on a canvas, but of course these methods could easily just be used on like an envelope or you know on your journal cover or on a page they don't have to be on a canvas I mean I'm just having a bit of fun with the canvases because you know I want to get them off my shelf really but you could obviously you know use them for your journals now I left this on because I thought I might like it but actually I'm gonna have to square that off because it looks really strange now I also just kind of dug this guy out from the Tim Holtz um, people because I just thought actually he may look fun and quirky on here. I don't know whether he's going to, but you know, just thought we'd bring him along and just see how he, how he looks, whether or not he looks good, I don't know, but we'll see. So I've got this beautiful browned, um, you know, uh, vintage sheet music. I don't know whether it has discoloured or whether it was always this colour, but certainly it's always been this colour since I've bought it. And I love the colour of it. And this canvas I've kind of painted in greens and browns, as you can see. So it's picking up this brownie sort of effect from the bottom really nicely. Now I just need to decide, do I want it the pan uh, piano side, you know, the keyboard side, or the sheet music side? I'm actually leaning towards the, the keyboard side. So I'm just going to tear down the, you know, those squared off edges, because I'm not so keen on those. Like that. Okay, so I like it like that, I think. Now, my little man, which is just, you know, playing around with wondering whether to have him or not. Perhaps we could have him, because obviously he's a sitting person. So let me just again have a look through those like glue book pieces because I know that I've got some bits and bobs that he could maybe be sat on. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I do have some black pieces, so I'm just going to try and find a black piece because just in case he might look even better on a, you know, maybe with the contrast of a black piece. So got some other black pieces but I don't think I've got any you know I need to do print some more I think so I'm just it's quite nice having this sort of black contrast isn't it it just sort of makes him stand out a bit more so oops maybe more like that I don't want it all in a line in the middle which is a little bit how it's going at the moment. So let me just ink up this slightly. I mean, as I say, this is vintage book page, but you know, it's not overly discolored or anything like that. So I'm just going to ink it up a bit. Just like this. And yeah, I mean, like I say, all of these techniques, they're, you know, they're just exactly what we do in our, in our journals. Um, you know, they're what we did for the blue book pages. They're what you do for a tag. They're just on a different size now, um, you know, because they're on the canvas. So you can just adopt 
all of these um, methods, you know, and then adapt them for your your pieces in your journals. Or, you know, of course, obviously, make some canvases yourself. Um, they're super fun to do. I mean, it's quite nice working on something so big, I think, actually, um, compared to journals, which are obviously quite small. So, yeah, they're definitely something nice to, you know, have a bit of fun with. Right. And he's going to go on, on there somewhere. So I just want to just work out my, you know, positions of things before I start gluing anything down. Do we want it like that? Now the other thing, I've got obviously those little edges from that sheet music. Just wondered whether we want to sort of have those in there somewhere. Oops. Yeah, maybe like that. So let's just have a look. Just seeing what else I might have laying around. I mean, we don't really want another person because then we're like suddenly got, wow, like an entire town going on on here, haven't we? Yeah, need to rein it in somewhere along the line. So not having a whole village going on. Right, there we go. So I think I'm just going to glue a couple of pieces down. So I'm going to start by obviously gluing down this piece. I'm not sure about these edges yet, so I won't glue those just yet. Where's my brush? Again, I'm just going to pour that onto there. Just as we get started here. Oops. Oh my gosh. Right, let's just apply it to the sheet music itself. I mean, just like the other one, we're going to obviously Mod Podge the whole canvas. So, you know, anywhere it's not quite stuck down, it will be, you know, once it's, um, once we've really got going. So, just then pop some extra glue down there. Like that. Oh my gosh, look. Okay, so that's that piece. And then I'm just going to have this one here. So again, just... I might just apply the um, Mod Podge just to the canvas, to be honest. Because otherwise I'm likely to stick this down wrong side up. So just pop it down like that first just a bit more glue just to go along that edge Right, so that's my my main piece there, like that. Right, let me move this slightly. Now, what did I do with my man? He's here in my lap. So again, let me just stand up oh, so that I can see a bit better what I'm doing. And then we've got this black piece that he's going to be sat on. So I might kind of drag this down slightly further. So just glue this one on a bit lower down. Okay. Like that. And then just want this piece just sort of sat on top of that that piece there like that okay. 
these are slightly thicker because they've been printed on card so they're a bit more resistant to wanting to be stuck down so hence I'm having to you know kind of coax them down a little bit more and then we're gonna have that man aren't we so let's just pop him down now now he's obviously one of those Tim Holtz people so he's pretty thick so he might need a bit of extra you know quite a thick coating of Mod Podge because he might not want to stay down either My gosh, look at him. It's like covered in Mod Podge now. <laughs> it's like got splashes of it all over him. So let's just let's just clean him up. Oh, he did look funny, didn't he? Okay, right. So we've got him down there now. Obviously, I am going to cover the whole of the canvas in the Mod Podge, you know, before it's finished anyway. So that's all, all fine. Now, just want to decide whether you know what else we might want on there because at the moment obviously obviously it's looking a little bit bare we do want some other things on there so let me again just put that down out of the way that mod podge before i'm even more covered in it than i already am so again i'm just going to bring in my numbers now i've got the small black ones which might look quite good on this one and obviously i've got the bigger ones so i'll just do so do like a number six I mean, I never worry which number I'm using. You know, I don't have like a preference for which number I'm using. I just go for like the one that's at the edge. I mean, the only preference I have is colour-wise. If I'm wanting a, you know, specific colour one. So let's just get that one. Oh, I didn't cut this one out, look. It's still there, still attached on the piece of paper. Okay. So, now, do we want to have it like down here or are we getting too much stuff at the bottom? Do we want it like up there? And then with like the, the smaller one, you know, right with it. I have got the bigger ones as well, so I might be better off because that number 10 is maybe a little bit too small. So I have got this size as well. So let me just do the slightly bigger number 10. That's quite cool, isn't it? I mean, we could have that one there, to be honest. Weirdly, I mean, I was about to ink these up, but <laughs> I'm quite liking that bright white. It's like, whoa, really, you know, really nice and crisp there, which looks kind of cool. So, um, yeah, I might, I might leave them bright white. So let me just ink up this one a little bit. But yeah, I might leave those other ones quite bright because they look really nice, really nice on there. Like that. Oops. Like that. Now, the other thing that I might like to do is obviously have some stamping or something in the background. So again, bear with me, I'm just grabbing my stamps here. I mean, I have got this little one, but obviously it's quite small to have on there. Which is a shame because it would have made a really nice, you know, it would have gone really nicely. Um, so I might just have to go with the scripty effect like we did last time. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. I'll just double check in my drawer before I do. So, oops. I think just by having a few things in the background, it just... Um, 
you know, it just makes it more interesting to look at, doesn't it? And brings it to life a little bit. Let's just see what else I might have. No, I think it is going to be the script stamp because unless I'm going to sit here like for hours, you know, looking through my jaw, which probably you guys don't really want to sit here for hours while I'm looking through. Um, you know, I could be here all day. So yeah, I'm gonna go for for that scripty stamp. Sorry, I'm just just putting my other stamp back. So right. I also just dragged out the postmark stamp because um I did just wonder whether we might want to have like a little postmark somewhere, but I'm not quite sure about that. Just check that that's sticking down okay. Uh, hmm. Not so sure now. Morning. Right, sweetie. That's my son, my middle son. Okay, right. Let's just. And again, I'm not going to put anything underneath this because obviously I'm not sort of, you know, necessarily wanting it really like a definitive thing. Um, just wanted a little bit of interest going around. Like that. I wonder if we could have one maybe like there. quite cool isn't it so let's just again put that stamp away uh right now I had wondered about having a postage stamp you know vintage postage stamp which was why I had thought get the postage mark out so let me just see I mean I've got quite a few sort of brownie shade ones they're not very big on here is the problem. That's quite a cool, cool stamp. Yeah, they're not very big, um, you know, because the canvas is quite a large canvas. So they're not necessarily very impactful on here, which is a shame. Hmm, maybe not. Yeah, I think they're a little bit too sort of insignificant on there. They're not, you know, they're not lively enough. They're just a bit too, too titchy to make any sort of dramatic difference. I also have um, one of my book plates, which of course I thought we might just add on here as well, because, you know, we are journalers. Now, as you can see, my edge of my stamp has gone on here, which... I mean, I wouldn't have intentionally stamped it like that. But I have to say, actually, I don't mind it because it looks a bit like it's the edge of the, you know, the sheet of paper. So, you know, it's not really kind of... I'm not that worried about it. Um, I feel like I need something over here. I'm not quite sure what. So let me just have a look and see. I mean, I've got this um, sheet music back. which I could have something kind of, I guess, over there, you know, with that. Let me just, let me just tear this one. Gosh, it's getting really hot up here, I must say. It's only quite early. I don't know what the time is, to be honest. I've lost track, but it's not, you know, it's not overly late. But, um, yeah, it's definitely feeling quite hot already. Mm hmm. Not sure now what to have over there. I think what I'll do is just stick my number tabs down because I do really, really like those. So definitely having those, you know, where they are. Sorry, just trying to um, 
make sure it's stuck down, you know, at all edges. So, oops. Okay, I'm just going to put this one now. On here. Yeah, I really like that with the white. It's really striking. You know, the impact looks really striking, which is really nice. Now, do we want this over here? I'm just not sure. Let's put our number 10, that, that small one. Let's stick that down. That's just literally in here. I don't know there's something here that uh, you know there's something that I want to have there but just not sure what I've got this little bit of you know the strip from here which obviously was lines or if we turn it over maybe that's quite nice let me just see whether If that's then more clustered together, might look better. Uh, decisions, decisions. This one is just the line. I have no other options with the other sheets. It's just the lines. Yeah, I might do that. So, again, just going to put that Mod Podge down like here. Just run it down the side. And then I can just glue this, because this is quite a delicate, you know, piece. So, I can just then put that down like that. So, I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're all um, doing some crafting, having a nice time. Yeah, it's uh, super warm today, super warm. I mean, I haven't ventured outside, but it's very warm up here already. So I assume it is quite warm outside because it wouldn't normally be, you know, so warm so quickly up here. And I haven't even got the overhead lights on. I've just got my my small lamp on today so um yeah it obviously is pretty warm right okay so i'm gonna have it like that over that as I say I'm going to obviously paint over the whole of the canvas I like this piece down here so I'm just going to stick that there Right, what do we think? I think it's quite nice actually um, because what I'm also going to do and probably this is not the ideal time to do it because I probably have got quite a bit of wet ink still. Uh, not wet ink, sorry, wet Mod Podge. But what I am going to do is go all around the whole edge with some black ink pad. So let me find one of my older Oh, one of my older black stays on. No, nope, not those. Right, it must be in my drawer, so bear with me while I just get it from the drawer. Hold on. Right, I can't find my old um, black stays on, which is a little bit annoying because this one is, you know, not very old and so it's going to be very um, black indeed. But 
what I'm going to do is just go around the edge of my canvas with the black stays on. I'm still still hunting just in case I can spot it before I do this, but no, I can't I can't spot it. Because when I get a new one, what I do is generally keep the old one and then I just scribble on the back when I've bought it so that I know which one is my very juicy, juicy one and which one is an older one. But yeah, no, I've probably taken it like downstairs, you know, and it's probably just laying around downstairs. So all I'm going to do is go around my edge like that and it just sort of brings out like a sort of frame to the picture or to the canvas. I mean you could probably do this with a sharpie or whatever, you know, up to you. I personally like this look because it's not a really definitive line. If I went round this with a sharpie, it would be not only not very straight, but it would also be, um, you know, I can't really describe it, but this is sort of broken, if you see what I mean. It's like more patchy. Whereas with a stays on, it would be solid, um, you know, which isn't necessarily kind of the thing that I, I was trying to, to do. So yeah, I quite like that. And I think that just makes it stand out really nicely. I can't really raise my, um, you know, tripod thing any any higher, I'm afraid, to be able to show you really. But yeah, I quite like that look. I think it's, um, you know, quite an effective sort of look. Now, of course, we could add some lace here. And I've got this black lace, which might be, you know, quite striking on here. Again, I realise that this is probably not everybody's bag and, you know, probably a lot of people would probably just prefer it without the lace. Um, I mean, I really do like my lace. So for me, this just finishes it off just, you know, really, really nicely. So what I'm going to do is just quickly Mod Podge over the entire surface so that then, you know, I can avoid the lace, if you see what I mean. So I'm just going to go right the way over so that the whole canvas is, you know, sealed and protected. Whoops, let's just get that bit off. Those couple of bits off like that and then just go you know work my way down so. okay right nearly done so we just have to just do the other side now quickly like that and just come to this side yeah very fun these are just something nice to do for a change you know nice to do different things um, so you know if you've got canvases knocking around or even if you've got old picture frames without pictures in and then you've got like an old I don't know um, pillow slip or something like that you can always just you know pillow slip pillow slip stay staple your pillow slip on as per like a canvas very tight around it and then you could you know could use that I mean probably not if it was a really flimsy one but you know if it was a thicker one then you could probably get away with that or a tea towel maybe that would be a better um you know thickness so that's my canvas and just going to now oops, just add a little bit of lace so I mean obviously that Mod Podge is still wet so it's not probably that ideal. I don't want it going right the way across the top although now I've held it there it does look quite nice. I thought I just wanted it you know at the side but well, perhaps I do want it right the way across or perhaps we could have it curved maybe that's a bit weird. Hmm. I was thinking just at the side, but it is, however, quite nice right the way. And perhaps we'll just have it right the way across. 
Oh, you see, I just as I as I'm saying something, I'm changing my mind literally. Just check that that's sticking down okay. So I mean again, this is not ideal and really I should be just waiting for it to dry now, but you know, when you're doing a video, you just want to obviously be able to do it. So stopping waiting for everything to dry. You know, it's not that easy to do. Okay, and I'll just trim that off here. So looking really nice there. We could have some other lace or something down here. Again, I mean, not saying it necessarily needs it, but it does sort of break it up, whereas otherwise it's quite, um, oh, what's the word? you know, quite pale. So by just having this bit of black here, it just is um, giving it like a little bit of different definition, I think. So like that. Again, I mean, I just keep on pressing the odd thing down that I think, oh, is that lifting a bit? Like that. Okay, so that's those. And then let me just get rid of those flowers to just get rid of this stuff um then i was thinking perhaps down here hang on let me just put these back in the oh back in the thing right um yeah i was thinking just down here that we could have you know maybe some buttons or something see what I can't really tell whether that's black or whether that's a little bit purple I, th I think it's black but you know sometimes when the light's catching it you can't really quite tell like that. let me just see what other buttons I've got here well, that's definitely black so that might be a better better choice there we go so we could just finish it off there with just those couple of buttons so Just glue those on. This one. And then the other one. And once it's dry, I might add um, a couple of brads to the journal book plate. Although that could be that that's actually over the frame now. So I'll have to have a look before I go and do that. But yeah so that's obviously the second canvas and you know as I say I mean I do quite often tend to have these hung not hung from a ribbon but ribbon coming at the top so I might do that um, a bit later on as well so I will come back obviously and show you these once they've all dried off um, but yeah I hope that you really like them I had great fun doing them and it was really nice to just come and do something um, you know completely different so I hope you like them and I will see you all again soon thanks then bye